All right. Um, okay. Here they are, the foundation of this entire operation. Without them, nothing happens, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm talking about Mike and his transpo guys. Where are they? Are they here? Sorry, sorry. Let's go on. I'm going to tell you something. Imagine if this was your job. Here's three dollars and make sure that all the props and all of Fancy and John's cockamamie stories all get there. And they have done so. And I want to thank Dan and Bill. Where are you guys? Best weed. Best weed. <laughs> that we're taking props back to where it was in the 70s. Next year I want Coke on the set. Alright. Okay. Everybody thought when we pitched this show at Sony that, oh, it's in a grocery store, it's one setting. It's gonna be cake. Uh-uh. No, it's not. We're gonna turn it into a Star Trek thing. We're gonna turn it into how many stupid cockamamie things can we come up with? And there's more. We can't come up with more. In fact, I have one to pitch to you that says today. Um, but I, I think that our art and set design truly have brought this bar up. I mean, I am I am seriously blown away from not only from season one, they kicked the shit out of season one and season two, but from season two to season three has jumped another, another level. So let's thank them all. Where are they? There's Cl is Clarence here? I'm right here. Yeah. And I know David's not here, but in absentia, we applaud David as well. Yeah, David. Yeah, David. Where's Megan? Where's Megan? Where is she? She's not here? Okay. All right. Well, if she comes back, somebody tell me. Is somebody else back? Somebody oh. Okay. Dave's here. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, no, I'm going to get to them. All right, and then there's our swing crew. There's David, and there's Brennifer. Who's Brennifer? Is she just working to Brennifer? Brennifer. Sorry. Brennifer. 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 And where's Mike? Where's Mike? Woo! Right there he is. Uh, and it's okay with me if you guys divulge the budgets, the line items, because they were shit. We gave you nothing. Not only did you start with nothing, but we then took it away. Yeah. I mean, that was an experiment, actually. Okay. And now, you did it. and unfortunately, that means next year that will be the budget. So, one, just to a different department. Yeah, we won't exactly. say who. Every year, one department gets super screwed, and this year it was art department, <laughs> art and set. And I, I just seriously, you guys. The tube, the tube costs like three dollars and looks like a million. Yeah. Especially with those ladies in there. So thank you so much. <laughs> All right. I want to thank the walkie-talkies. All right. Uh, <laughs> you want to complain about your job? Uh, stop for a second and look at these guys, because these are people who actually work. They're too, these people work for a living, and then the people in the store work for a living. So anytime you start getting pissy, just look at either of those two grips. People, these are the grip department, you guys. <laughs> Stand up! Come on! The best grip department I have ever worked with, ever, That's ever, right. ever, ever. Woo! And Rex, I don't know if any of you saw it, but there was a parking lot, a parking do not park sign, <laughs> cement in a hole today, and Rex yeah, went up by himself. And pulled the fucker out. Yeah. 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 He pulled it out himself, and then takes time to sell some coffee, <laughs> which I highly recommend. It looks very good. I endorse your product. All right, Robert, Hector, Jason, Chris, you guys, fucking awesome. Thank you so much, particularly on the uh, picture card. Who's Hector? Where's Hector? He's over there in the red. Okay. All right. Let's go to electric. Where are they? Where's electric? All right. right here. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? Martin came up to us this year and said, you know, John looked like shit. I, something you guys don't know about me. I look terrible in front of a camera. Terrible because I have really sallow skin from years of drug abuse. And Martin figured out how to put these, is he here? 
Oh, wait, there he is. <laughs> How to put these special lights in. I gotta tell I look fucking 10 years younger, dude. I don't know how he did it, but it's amazing. And not only is this electric, electrical department great, but they're also very, very well read. And you may not know this, but Martin's father won the Nobel in physics. So what about that? And that's yeah. serious, true. So let's give them all a round of applause. Martin, Wally, Amy. Where is he? All right, where's your buddy? Ted! Ted. 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 Now, uh, not only does state, state last year, we had two guys, three guys, yeah. with a fuck, huge fucking cart, and they still, it, 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 you're here for a reason, Stacy. Let's just put it that way. And <clears throat> Stacy wears it all on his, on his pouch. Like a huge colostomy bag filled with shit, <laughs> and it's it truly is unbelievable. And I am as unlike the rest of my cast, am not an actor, and I seriously just look out at people when I'm doing because I'm in no fucking character. And I always look at Stacy, and he is loving this. He's loving it. And you put your hands down my pants. So gentle. Thank you. For that. <laughs> Why, Jeffrey? What's going on? Fill us in. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying, why the Jeffrey? Is that not you? It is me, because that's what my dad's contract services as. <laughs> so is that your middle name, or? Ted's his middle name. Ted's the middle name. So Jeffrey is your name. Okay, but you like Ted. All right, good to know. I just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, <clears throat> uh, on this show, everybody really does work for a living, but I really do think the people who work physically the hardest are our camera crews. Yeah. And I think, let's give them a big round of applause. Yeah. Oh. Starting, starting with the utility guys, they are the best by far that we've ever had, led by Tiffany, who's been with us from the beginning. She takes a nap. She takes a nap. Where is she? Tiffany. Yeah. Seriously, a writer on my contract is that she has to be my AC for everything I ever do ever again because I don't. I really truly freak out. And we need her car. It's Todd's car. <laughs> Hallie, Sal, Bianca. Welcome, you guys. We want you back. We want you in a five-year contract, so let's get that signed up right after this is done, because you guys were really great. Round of applause for the utility. <laughs> the camera ops. Here they are, the tight ends of the football team. That is the greens and grades. They block. They, pa they catch passes. They block. They're <laughs> tight end. My favorite position. Mark. David and I'll go and I'll go. Yeah. Neil, Monty. David, Anka, and Neil. Sorry, Where got excited. Anka? Where's Anka? She right she here. meditates during life. Okay. There she is. Oh, nice. She's a serious meditator. She meditates in Leslie's office every lunch. My brother and I uh, caught her, and Anka found her very attractive. And he's and rich. And rich. He's rich. He drives a. Uh, a motorcycle and just Ducati. Fed a Ducati, mm -hmm. and FedEx is his stuff ahead of him. He's living the exact opposite life I'm living. I'm in a prison of my own making that only the sweet sleep of death will get me out of. There, we had a big loss with Patrick uh, last year, who we all dearly love, and Patrick unfortunately died died of a brain tumor. Come on. He had to shoot another show, and he still loves us, but. We will never have his ass back. Because we thought we got it better. As much as we love him, we love you more, Mark. That is serious. I don't care who hears it. Please don't tell him. I'm just joking. All right. Um, Stephen Argila, our composer, not here, but a wonderful man. Is Post here? Yeah. Is Post here? All right. Let's start with, is the product, who, is Simon here? Where's si is Simon, no, Simon's not here. Okay, we love him. All right, our ah. assistant editors, Scott, Justin, Allison, Jim. You guys all Woo! here? Yeah! 
you guys are going to be seeing so much of me and Nancy soon. <laughs> it was quiet. It was quiet over there, but guess what? We're coming in. <laughs> we do need a video game for this year, though. We still do not have a good video game. All right, and then, really, I mean, if a football team could have four quarterbacks, these would be the quarterbacks. These are, even though Nancy and I get paid to write, uh, these guys are just too tough. Uh, these guys put it all together. It starts with our supervising editor, and that is Mora! Give it up! Currently cutting turkey bowling! And it looks kick ass. Where's Marcelo? Smooth! They call him smooth as ass, Marcelo! How many minutes is your cut down to? 23. Two more, baby. Two more. End of the day, my son. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Just rip the guts out of it. That's the way we do it. <laughs> Seriously, an easy way to cut two minutes, just cut some jokes. Yeah. Cut some jokes. That's what the network says. All right. Uh, and then we have Patrick. Where's Patrick? All right, yeah. let me tell you. All right, Patrick. Let me tell you something about Patrick. Patrick last year came into our thing and was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? I mean, seriously, we look. We would see him and his hair would be out of, you know, messy. And he'd be like, what am I doing? And then came Ren Fair. And I don't know what happened, but this Patrick turns into this golden child. He blossomed out of it and kicked the fucking shit out of it. And now you're working on one day at a time. Is that right? Which is going to be our one of our press episodes. Mm -hmm. And how many minutes are you at? Twenty-five. Mm, we'll be there tonight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, didn't we leave it at twenty-five last night? No, no, no. <laughs> did you get all of our cuts into it? The things you did, and it's still that big. Okay. All right, we'll get it. We'll get it. Where now? This woman is a bundle of love and joy, and and I hope you know it. it also a big consumer of spam. She was our supervising editor last year. First she, year. I mean, first year? No, yeah. last? First year. No, first year. Oh, 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 right. Yeah, that's what right. First year. Yeah, that's yeah, right. First year. Not last year. Not, Not last, last year. year. All right. And she is gorgeous. She is smart. She is powerful. She's from Hawaii. And her name is Kealohi Lee. <laughs> Groceries. Where are we at on that? Okay. Okay. That's okay. I'm not worried. We shot some more shit today. Too. If you see, I know. Yeah, that's. It. They don't listen to that. All right. If you see a glass jump across a table, there's one person and one person only to blame. But let me tell you something. You will not see that glass jump because this woman is brilliant at what she does. And I will say this right now, next year she could ask for triple pay and we would give it to her. And her name is Maureen. Yeah. 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 Beautiful, a Jew convert like me, Shana Tova. All right. Now, one of our, um, it was one of our smallest departments uh, and then season one, we went over budget. Now it's one of our largest departments. It's accounting! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. I guess. Uh, <laughs> accounting. Now, not many people, not you guys don't know this, but if you ever want to party oh. hard, <laughs> go to accounting. They are the most exciting department. That includes everybody. These guys rock it out. It's led by Gary. Irene, Maisha, you guys, thank you so much. We love you when you bring the checks, but we also love you. Nancy and I love you, and it's not in the parentheses. Mm -hmm. It's not in the parentheses. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, are we in the black? Yes, we are. Yeah! 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 Give it to Seth. They need it. Yes. <laughs> All right. Give everybody a 50 buck. Can we do that? Can yeah. we? <laughs> I Take forgot guys. somebody who is the mother, the den mother over at Post um, and has kept her cool really well so far. 
We don't know. It's Nancy early. and John haven't moved over there early yet. Early days. But this, I wish I could describe how much this person is responsible for, and all this technical mumbo jumbo and dealing with Sony. You think it's got to be in a four by five? No, we went sixteen by nine. We didn't deliver it on beta stock. No, we went on the. It's like <laughs> it's nutball central, and there's no script. There's no organization. I mean, there's a little organization. <laughs> It's, a lot of it is me and Nancy going, no, I remember, I was standing there. I, we have it, I know we have it. Uh, and that's Mia. Mia, thank you so much. Okay, hang on. <clears throat> now, I know I said grip was the hardest working department, but I gotta say, the most improved department this year, by far, has to be the set PAs. These guys are awesome. Oh, yeah. Deep handsome. Let's get their pants off. <laughs> Seriously, I love you guys, and I'm sorry about like asking for a coffee and shit. I mean, it's so stupid, but I need it. Okay, there is a man sitting in a room that has a bad smelling toilet, and he is in charge. He is the puppeteer behind it. Well, he's the second puppeteer, and his name. He's also a big Phillies fan. And his name is Tom. And I want us all, where is Tom? I want you gotta see your face, Tom, because people just hear your voice. Where is he? Coming around. This is Tom. He's our production, he's our production coordinator, and he grows the same facial hair as Keith. Whatever Keith grows, Tom will grow. So if we shave Keith into the Hitler, Tom will have it. Uh, where's John? Is John the key, the key production? Where is John? He's over there working. Well, yeah, yeah. He's an awesome guy. Go over and say hi to John, and we'll get him his gift, right? Yes. Okay. And the, oh, Carrie, you were in the office PA. Uh, and where, where's, you're out here, though, all the time. Is that a bump up? It's out of the office. It's just all the same. Where's Joe? Where's Joe? Okay, there he is, there he is. Joe is, is so overqualified for this job. He is probably, Nancy and I think he's the smartest guy on the set. Joe, what, what is your education? What do you have? I have a master's degree. Yeah. Well, in what? not in talking, not in yeah. talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's in film. Don't you have another degree? <laughs> All right. This, this is a, if you want to learn anything, talk to him. <laughs> his shirts. I learned so much from his shirt. Half of Leslie's gobbledygook comes from your t shirts, too. <laughs> um, okay. All right, it's time for the now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me go back. Tran is Transpo here? Yeah, they're here now. Right. $3.99. $2.99 here? Yeah! yeah. $3.99. $3.99. Yeah. $3.99. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Who's, who's two? <laughs> all right. The, let me tell you something about that. First of all, Mike is the sweetest guy ever and has the best mezuzah that I've ever seen around his neck. These guys, I mean, if they really will do anything. I know Kirsten had some car trouble. They helped you out. Me too. Nancy. And then they get us these beautiful cars for zero money. We're so, and you guys are always helping out. And we just really appreciate you. you know, I'm never around when the police show. That's yeah. right. Let's yeah. give them a round of applause. Yeah. 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 None of us can come to the rap party. Why not? Steve Burgess uh, Is that you gave work? us an ultimatum. I better see you. Oh, no. I want to see all four of you there, and I want to see you throwing up. I mean, let's get let's get it on at the rap party. It isn't a rap party without transfer. It is not. 
We won't. I won't go. I'm not going. It's all, let's all not go. We'll pick you up. <laughs> Our second AD today, Mita. Where is she? Mita. It's Mita. Wait, it's Meta? Yeah. It is? Because yeah. I was calling you Meta and then somebody corrected me and said it's Meta. It's all, all right, Meta, thank you so much for stepping in and you're so cool and calming. Now, this man has had a very difficult job because he's had to run second with Dale and he's had to be our man taking us through first when Dale isn't here. Sweetest guy in the world, so talented, so kind, always there for us. Round of applause for you. <laughs> Will we get out by four o'clock today? Yes. Oh! No way. Four day pay. Third never, day never gonna happen. All right. Uh, there are two guys who sit in a tent typing at their computers. What are they typing? Nobody really knows. <laughs> but I do know this: it's crucial. It's crucial information. And the service they provide to me is, at the end of the night. Me in my underwear going into their thing and say into their office and saying, "Is it really funny? Is it you swear to God? What was funny? Tell me." Because I, Nancy doesn't. It's just like in pure panic. What? What was funny? What was it? <laughs> all the actors left because they know that feeling. Um, I, you know, first of all, Tim Sicardo, an asso uh, associate producer. Is that right? Associate, You're right. right. Associate producer with the worst posture ever. <laughs> You're like, I mean, from now on, anybody sees him in that posture, you've got to correct it because we need you. We hope yeah. to work with you forever, Tim. You're awesome, Tim. Thank you so much. Yeah. David Kyler is in love. So. My wife is going to be very upset because she would do you in a minute. She's told her that. I think, in fact, I think a lot of ladies would. You know, David Clyler, there's a lot of discussion about doing David Clyler, doing the crew. And David, today, in honor of how well you've served us, Nancy and I are going to do you. Come on up here. John. <laughs> He is such a loving, kind man and really knows his fucking job. That's why he's a segment producer. Uh, we're so glad you're here, David. We want to sign you to a 10-year clock contract along with him. And he's also super, super hip, but ponytail. Yeah. Should probably go. Yeah. I, think it's, I think it's so much better down. All right, I love you, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Hang in there, we're almost done. I want to talk about a man who has saved our asses. He comes in and gives really, really hardcore news to me and Nancy without freaking us out. And most of the time, this show runs perfectly, and it is a hard fucking job. I mean, we've had to really learn about budgets, and we have. Ooh, after season one, we, we had to learn about budgets. And, and now we, Nancy and I track everything, and what this guy is able to accomplish is really, a, it's an art. And I know you guys all deal with them. Some conversations not so comfortable, some are. But somebody has to hold this line. And he is proudly part of our team as a co-executive producer, and that's Keith Rask. Yeah. 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 I skipped anybody. Steve, Steve Burgess. Steve! Oh my oh, god. Man. Oh my god. See, this happened last year, and I'm so sorry. Oh right, okay. Why do we have a UPM? Why do we have a UPM? I'm going to tell you why. Because we have to. <laughs> we have to have a UPM. And most UPM are, M's are total dickheads, from what I hear. I've never met them, but I hear they're very, very not cool. And it, as you all know, it's very important to Nancy and I to have somebody cool. And we have to really hunt. Gene, we love Gene. And to replace Gene seemed like an impossible task to have somebody come in, and we found this man. Steve, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. So much. Yeah. I am really broken this year. This has really been a hard year for me physically. I have hurt myself badly. I am old, 
and I've been trying to do some things to show off to people, and I, have hurt, I seriously have hurt myself. I also got sick, where I totally thought I was gonna boot that time in the office. I know the camera crew knows it well. And, you know, Nick has been there. He's a very kind person who knows his stuff, gets along, and, and will pitch in. Maybe crossing mm -hmm. some union lines. <laughs> we appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> it did a couple of things that blew our mind, dude. That's seriously, we can't talk about it because we don't want any trouble. But it was amazing. It was amazing. We're going to fuck you tonight. These very hands. Are you single? There's, oh, yes. there's been some talk. Okay. There's been some talk, my friend. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, no, not yet. Oh yes, uh, yes, yes. Um, okay, we're down now to the uh, to the closing, and I'm sorry about all this talking, but this is really important to me to do this, and I want to talk about our cast for a minute because these. Are we okay? Oh, is he, he's over there, right? Is he here or is he over there? Okay, we'll get him in a minute. We'll get him in a minute. I've already started on the cast. Yeah, yeah. We, I don't know if you guys, I have a sense that you guys know how lucky we are to have these people, but I wish you could know, I wish, I wish the cast could see themselves the way I see them, as this incredibly talented bunch of people that we are so, so grateful to have. And we know that this job is really fucking hard. We know it is, and we know it works, you guys. <clears throat> Psychologically and monetarily, and being bound up in a fucking stupid contract, and getting here early, and really working hard, and having to, you know, make up the show. And um, I'm just honored to be a part of you guys, and I hope to God, I just really hope to God you know that. And I also hope uh, that you never ever leave because you're all going to start getting more and more famous now we're going to get a fourth season and people are going to be like i gotta go do that and i gotta go do that it's fine we want you to do that but you better fucking come back <laughs> we will hunt you down we are so screwed without i don't know how we found this bunch of people i i we have this conversation all the time and when you look at yourselves when this thing broadcasts and you hate your performances or you hate the sound of your voice or you whatever and then you watch it the second time. <laughs> and you see how great it is. It's all because, ultimately, ultimately, all because of you guys. And I love you very, very much. Love you. So, the cast. Give them a round. John Lear has part been of the, so Part good. of the cast. <laughs> part of the, the cast, part of the, the backbone, as we all know, of this show is John Lear. Could not do this show without him on every single level. And good. if you can hear, even in his voice, not just for the talent and the comedy that he brings every day consistently, over and over and over again, which we're all sort of constantly marveling over, mm -hmm. but the fact that you are, you tear yourself down, he's losing his voice, he's there listening to everybody, and I'm just so proud to be your partner. Thank you. And that you're amazing. Right. This has been a hard year for me. This has really been a hard season for me. And I just want to thank everybody for helping me. It's been really hard. It's been the hardest of the three by far. And just with the new baby, I think, and maybe with the physical injury. I don't know, but it's just been super fucking hard. And I just want to thank you guys for all being there. I also just um, want to especially thank Ms. Coles, who has come into this show yeah. Yeah. with yeah. 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 show with her in Chicago and I was like you should come on her show and she fucking did <laughs> she's awesome and lovable and I mean you fit in perfectly yeah. I, I couldn't be happier so thank you all right all right I got I want to wax on about Nancy for just a minute uh, as many of you know we had three executive producers season one and Robert is still very much a part of our show in the in, in the past in that he helped 
get this thing up and going. But it has fallen on me and Nancy now to run the show. And this, I'm gonna, I think we all know this, but I just, I seriously wanna say this. Nobody else could do this job. I mean, she handles all of us so well. And I see like a layer of like taking, you know, she takes off the armor a little bit at the end of the day for me, but she still leaves some on to even babysit me because I'm really needy. And um, <laughs> she, I'm serious, you guys, I am riding on this woman's shoulders and will as long as she will have me because she seriously comes up with most of the ideas, most that of the script. Not true. You do. She comes up with most of the jokes. She fucking helps. I mean, Post will say she helps the editing, right? In a major, major way. Some would say our help, some. She comes up with all the shots, deals with all the actors, getting us in and out of these fucking things. It's crazy. And never, never loses it. Ever. I mean, I owe everything to her. It's seriously, you could do it without me. And, I, and you may, because I feel terrible. Right now. I'm so sorry. But, uh, I love her so much. I know we all love her so much. She is the, the machine that makes this happen. No question. So let's all give her a lot of love. Yeah. 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 to us we really care about you guys this is not just about what we get on the air it's about the process and and we really enjoyed being with you we love your fucking guts so have a great day we'll see you at the rap party on sunday